आपका बचाव Welcome back to Editors Roundtable. Well, uh, the other focal point is the tractor sales, and that's been doing very, very well. A few years ago, we were doing around 500,000 odd. Now we are on the verge of doing close to around 1 million units odd. The question is, will the speeding tractor come to a halt, or will there be a break that's put in place? Two factors playing out here. One is fear of El Nino, and the second factor is in a post-election year, we normally see some bit of pressure. Let's focus on the first factor then. El Nino remembers when that, when the, you know, the waters in the Pacific, they cross the 24 and a half degrees odd. That's what affects the southwest monsoon and in turn hits the rainfall year in the, uh, uh, in the subcontinent. Now, India in the last 20, 22 years, we have never seen five straight good monsoons. We have had four straight good monsoons. So let's see whether or not we can break the jinx. The hope is maybe, in fact, we break that jinx. But the uh, odds are stacked against us, particularly in an El Nino year. Because some statistics suggest that the chance of getting excess rainfall is almost zilch. Below monsoon, there's a high likelihood, and there's also a high likelihood of a drought. Clearly, that could impact tractor sales. So that's point number one. The second factor is, you know, in a post-election year, we have seen that it dips a little bit. And remember, in a run-up to election, you have loan waivers that's hoped for. You have agri-loans dispersals that pick up. And also, a lot of these bridges, uh, you know, and other construction sites, they do see a completion. And 35% of their transportation, well, it finds application via tractors as well. So that could be one of the reasons why in the run-up to election, you normally see that uh, you know, tractor sales are pretty good. So let's get that graphic plate up for you. In 2014, we had very, very good growth. But in the next couple of years, we saw a bit of a degrowth. Similar is the case in, uh, you know, in uh, 2019. In the following year, we saw a bit of a downtick. So last two elections as well, the following year hasn't been very, very great. Let's hope it doesn't uh, happen this time around. But two risks. One is the statistical risk that we are putting with regard to the numbers in the last two elections. And the one, other one is the fear of El Nino, which could be on the economy, markets, as well as tractor sales. Well, Nigel, you know, uh, it's an interesting piece that you've put out. I just want to ask Devina the same thing. You know, uh, there are concerns about El Nino, there are, there are, there are concerns about heat 